We're going to demonstrate how to move my virtual machine stored on ESXi1 to ESXi2 using a shared data store. So I'm just going to change the host that it is running on. I select right click and select, I can't see the menu, so I'm going to select all the center actions and select migrate. I'm going to change the host next. And it's currently on ESXi1. I'm going to move it to ESXi2. Hit next. Use the reserve CPU and finish. And if we hover over this and click, you can see the actual tasks taking place. Moving from ESXi1 to ESXi2, currently migrating, and it's done. If I take a look over here, the Aaron 1 2 VM is now on the ESXi2, still the same data store. Now I'm going to move it back to the ESXi1, but I'm going to store it on the ESXi1 local data store. So I'm going to right click on it and select migrate. And I'm going to change both the host and data store. Next, and I'm going to choose ESXi1 host, and next, and then I'm going to choose the local ESXi1 data store on the ESXi1 data uh, host, and then hit next, and next, and finish. And this will take a little longer, it's going to migrate. I click on this, I can see the status. It's now migrating from ESXi2 to ESXi1. So at this time, it is currently copying the files, and then it will migrate the virtual machine after making a copy of the virtual memory. Okay, it looks like it is completed. The move back to E6I1, and it's also stored on the local data store. The last migration I'm going to do is migrate the virtual machine to a new data store. If I can select the option, there we go. This time I'm going to move it to a shared data store, the VMFS02, which is an iSCSI data store. Let's see, it's migrating the host. It'll stay on the existing ESXi server, but change data store locations. Okay, it's finished relocating the virtual machine 01-2 to the new data store, migrating from local to the shared iSCSI VMFS02. Just a quick review on my layout. If 
I go take a look at virtual machines, there's all my virtual machines. My two networks. So two. Is accessible by both the ESXi1 and ESXi2 servers. The local ESXi1 is only accessible by the ESXi1 server. And ESXi2 is only accessible by the ESXi2 local data store. 